Have you always wanted to take amazing images of the night sky, whether that's the Milky Way or maybe a distant nebular galaxy, but seemingly no matter what you do, your photos are always dark and grainy? Well, I'm happy to announce that after hundreds of hours of work, I finally completed a series of tutorials that's going to show you how to take much better images at night. And all you need is your DSLR camera and a star tracker. Now, a star tracker is actually a very simple device. You just put your camera on it, and it's going to move your camera at the same speed as the stars, allowing you to shoot much longer exposures without star trails. So instead of being limited by the Earth's rotation to maybe 20 or 30 seconds, you can now shoot up to four or five minutes and still have sharp stars. It's really amazing how well these work. And I've been shooting astrophotography for the past four years, and there's nothing that's come close to just having a star tracker in my arsenal. Uh, the results I've gotten since I have a star tracker are just amazing. And what I want to do in this series of tutorials is break down everything you need to know about shooting at night, as well as using a star tracker to its best ability. So with that in mind, the first thing I'd recommend is heading over to my website where you can check out my complete star tracker buying guide. So this is for all of you who don't have a star tracker yet, or maybe you're thinking about buying one. I've actually gone ahead and compared all of the four major star trackers. I've tested them side by side. And now I can give you a very definitive look at which one is going to work best for your own needs. And that includes the iOptron Sky Tracker Pro, the iOptron Sky Guider Pro, as well as the Skywatcher Star Adventure and the Skywatcher Star Adventure Mini. There's a lot of names here, and frankly, it took me a long time to just get all the names straight. But uh, if you want to learn more, head over to my website. I'll have a link in the description. But that's where you can go and learn everything you need to know about picking your own star tracker. Then, once you've decided which one you want to go with, you can come back over, and that's where you can start checking out my other star tracker tutorials. So I started creating these star tracker tutorials when I realized that there were just so many questions about star trackers, and frankly, there's not a lot of good info out there online. Even the star tracker companies themselves do a pretty bad job of explaining how to actually use these. And on YouTube, you can find a few amateur tutorial videos, not much though. So my goal was to set out to create a bunch of really high level tutorials that will show you how to use your star tracker, whether you want to do deep space, uh, astrophotography with a telephoto lens or maybe even a small telescope or just your standard wide-angle nightscape. I'm going to show you how to actually set everything up properly in the field. In addition, I wanted to show the entire process from A to Z. So we'll look at how to plan out your Milky Way photo shoots months ahead of time or even just a few hours. We'll look at the best camera gear to get, so if you're thinking about getting a new lens or camera body, you'll know what to get and what to stay away from. We'll also break down all of the different camera settings, and this is a big point here because this is another area where there's a lot of bad information. A lot of it's frankly flat out wrong online, especially in regards to ISO. So my goal with this part of the course is to break down all of the different camera settings as simply as possible. That way even a complete beginner can understand what's actually going on their camera. And then once they have that knowledge, they can start taking much better photos at night. Of course, as I said, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about your own star tracker, from setting it up to aligning the uh, Polaris and the polar scope to doing your counterweight balancing and everything you possibly need to know. Uh, we go into a lot of detail there. And of course, we're also going to cover post-processing because you might have the best camera, the best lens, and a great star tracker, but what you'll notice is that your images are still pretty dark out of the camera and there's not a lot going on. So once you understand how to process your images, that's going to open up a whole new world, and that's really how you're going to start getting those amazing images. Now, for beginners, what I've done is create a beginner's section. So this is where I walk you through Adobe Photoshop, Bridge, and Camera Raw, and I show you how to use each application very simply, just so you get more comfortable before we head into the full workflows. Now, for advanced users, I've actually gone ahead and recorded multiple full workflows where I take you from the very beginning of my process to saving the final JPEG image and everything in between. So there's a lot to get to. And one of the big things I'm focusing on in this course is how to blend two images together. Because since we are using a star tracker now, as I mentioned, we're going to have a, one photo where the stars are sharp, and then we'll have another photo where the foreground is sharp. And it's our goal to blend those two together as cleanly as possible. So after dozens of hours of experimenting in Photoshop, I found a very easy way to do your exposure blending, even if you have a very detailed scene. Uh, it's actually pretty remarkable just how well this works, so that's going to be a big thing we focus on. I'm also excited to announce that I'll be having a special Challenge Peter tutorial series. So this is where you can send in your own raw images, and then what I'll do is I'll go through them and try and edit them if you're having some problems. You know, let's say I've got this light pollution in my photo and it's distracting from the Milky Way, or I'm trying to get this effect and I can't get it to work. So you can always send in your photos, then I'll go through and create a unique tutorial based off of your images, then I'll upload that to the main director so that everybody can watch it each month. And this is going to be a great way to keep the content coming in the following months and even years. All right, well, that's about all I have for you. So if you're interested in learning more about star trackers and astrophotography, you can always head over to my website. Again, I'll have a link in the description, but definitely check out the Star Tracker Buying Guide for more information, as well as the different 
uh, courses. You know, I've got a full course for each one of the star trackers, and we'll take you through the entire process from beginning to saving your final JPEG image and everything in between. So there's a lot to get to, and I hope I'll see you in an upcoming video.